and we were never so well off that we could do it without the NHS, without the local school, without a host of public services. And so to those who say our offer to Britain's mainstream middle is more about votes than values, I say that completely misunderstands what New Labour has always been about, and I have always been about. I, uh, I think I can smell shite. <laughs> yes, I can definitely smell shite. And uh, sometimes she could be very unpredictable uh, in meetings. I remember one occasion when she had been on a plane coming back from the United States and she sat on that plane next to the head of MGM movies, more gutsy movies, a man called Lou Wasserman, who was the chief executive. And somehow he persuaded her on that journey that her crowning glory as prime minister was going to be the state financing of film studios in Rainham Marshes in Essex. I was Chief Secretary in the Treasury, this was revealed to me, and I expressed some bewilderment and astonishment at this uh, proposal, and I said to her, but I thought we believed in controlling expenditure, glare. I said, I thought we believed in low taxes. I thought we didn't believe in subsidies to inefficient industries. I got more and more debt. I said, Prime Minister, there's no unemployment in Essex. Prime Minister will have to build the roads in order to get to rain and marshes. <laughs> I was glowering at me very fiercely. And then in desperation, I said, you, you do know, Prime Minister, that we'll have all the environmentalists against us because there's a very rare bird, I knew about these things, called the Brent Goose that breeds there. And she looked at me and she said, you are utterly hopeless. <laughs> All you ever say is no, no, no. <laughs> you, you do not have a constructive idea in your head. <laughs> and if you had been in my government since 1979, I would have achieved nothing. And I did say to her, well, Prime Minister, you always write about everything, but there's one thing you're wrong about. I've been in your government. <laughs> Anyway, I, I went back to the department and I said, well, the Prime Minister's made a very strange decision. We must get on with it. Uh, a few hours later, a call came through saying she did not wish to pursue the matter. I saw her the next day beaming. And she congratulated me on something nothing to do with it, no reference uh, to, to the matter uh, whatsoever.